This is called Along the Evening Path. It's in oils. It's lovely soft blends in there and I think you're going to really enjoy this one. So I'm using an 18 by 14 canvas and as you can see I've just masked off a border um, and this is just to give it a really nice interesting shape. So I'm going to begin by sketching a horizon line and it's in the lower part of the canvas. If you add too much oil at this stage you're going to make it really difficult to keep adding the layers. So just be prepared to work a little bit harder and push that colour into the weave of the canvas. So I'm going to add more white now and really start lightening up some of these areas. It looks very abstract at this stage and that's all okay. Just getting that colour on there and it's nice and random. We've got lots of interesting colours. I'm going to switch now to a large one inch bristle brush and that'll be for blending. So I'm going to go into the centre. So now I'm switching to a bristle filbert and I'm going to stick with the same colours with the um, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna and some white and I want to start making the shadow part of some clouds just to add a little bit of extra interest into this sky. I'm just going to come along now and just pick out a few shapes. We're going to start the distant trees now and I want to give the illusion that the, the sun is behind them and there's some warmth coming through. The bottom here I want to keep that nice and blurred out, there's no detail there. I'm going to block in the path using the same mixes and keeping my stroke nice and horizontal. You can hear the brush really scrubbing against that canvas. Now I'm going to stick with this same dark colour but I'm going to add a little bit of green to the mixture and the same as we've done before I'm going to just block in and scrub this colour on nice and thin. So the whole canvas is now completely covered and we're ready to start adding the details. So I'm going to start by creating this smaller tree that's in the distance. Keep that nice and dark. I'm going to add a little bit more blue to that just so it stays nice and dark. So there's plenty of paint on the brush. And if I just slide the brush, I will end up with a little ridge right on the edge of the brush. And I can use that then to do the highlighting. This really makes it look very 3D. We want this nice and dark now. This is the foreground tree. So I'm going to begin by very lightly sketching. This is your bravery test. So you do need the oil now, just a little bit at a time so that the colour stays nice and dark and it sits on the top of all that underpainting. So into the Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue and I'm going to take the path out of the canvas. Again, this is just for a little extra added interest. And then I'm going to block that in. I'm loading the flat brush, getting a nice chiselled edge on that brush and I'm going to come down the edge of the tree and it's just a small pull down stroke. You want to make sure that the paint is just that little bit thinner and flows. And this is a very similar stroke to doing the tree to give it a real nice woody effect. And then very lightly I'm just going to tap on just the suggestion of a little highlight on this grass area. And just a few little mound shapes to suggest some rocks. So once you're happy with everything it's time to remove the border and just be careful. Now you can leave this to dry if you want to. Well I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, 
it's a real chocolate box painting um, but some great elements in there you learn how to do trees uh, blended skies stippling the grass um, a lot of these things that you can transfer to any of your other paintings mm -hmm.